I really want you to learn from this video and I can assure you that you are going to be benefited by finding an easy way to solve the problem today. And let's get started to solve the problem on the screen. So here it is the double integral in polar coordinates. So we have to evaluate integral 0 to pi, integral 0 to a sin theta r dr d theta. So here is the solution. First of all, we have to split the integrals. Theta is equal to 0 to pi and r is equal to 0 to a sin theta. This is r dr d theta. And I will make integration with respect to r first of all. So here I am making integration with respect to r. So that is for r this will be r square by 2. Between the integrals 0 this is a sin theta into d theta. So if I substitute the upper limit minus lower limit this will be a square sin square theta by 2 minus this will be 0 into d theta. So if I write this that is a sin theta whole square it is nothing but a square sin square theta and uh, if I write a square by 2 like this so 0 to pi this is a sin square theta into d theta. So as you know that sin square theta we have a formula that this is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So if I substitute the same thing here this will be a square by 2 theta 0 to pi this is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 into d theta. If I send this 2 to outside then this will be a square by 4 theta is equal to 0 to pi this is 1 minus cos 2 theta into d theta. This will be a square by 4 and for 1 d theta is nothing but theta and cos 2 theta is nothing but sin 2 theta by 2 between the limits theta is equal to 0 and here theta is equal to pi. So this will be a square by pi. If I substitute the upper limit this will be pi minus this is 2 pi by 2 and if I substitute 0 this is 0 and this one is 0. As you know that sin n pi value is 0 that is 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi any pi this value is 0 and what remains here so this is this value is 4 this is a square pi by 4 remind so this is how we have to solve therefore integral 0 to pi this is integral 0 to this is a sin theta r dr d theta value is nothing but a square pi by 4 so this is how we have to solve this is the way we have to use. First of all, I made integration with respect to r and later after substituting the limits. So, here I got and uh, after this, I made an integration with respect to theta and substituted the limits and I got the value as a square pi by 4. And the next question here, this is also very important. This is the double integral from po polar coordinates. So, we have to inte integrate integral 0 to infinity, integral 0 to pi by 2, e power minus r square r dr d theta. I will split the, I will split the integrals. So, theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and this r varies from 0 to theta. This is r e power minus r square dr and this will be d theta. First of all, I will integrate with respect to r or theta. So, theta. See here, if I integrate with respect to theta, 0 to infinity, this is r e power minus r square dr and this is 0 to pi by 2 and uh, theta. So, if I integrate with respect to theta, see what will happen, r is equal to 0 to infinity, this is r e power minus r square dr for integral d theta is nothing but theta between the limits 0 to pi by 2. If I substitute the same thing here, so this will be integral r is equal to 0 to infinity. This is r e power minus r square into dr. So, into pi by 2. So, pi by 2 if I keep outside. So, r is equal to 0 to infinity. This is r e power minus r square into dr. So, now I have a small substitution here that is r square is equal to t. Then 2r dr will be 
dt. If I make the same substitution here, that is, this is pi by 2. So, r is equal to 0 to infinity in place of r dr. So, we have to write as dt by 2 and this is e power minus d. So, if I send this to outside, this will be pi by 4, r is equal to 0 to infinity, e power minus t into dt. So, this is pi by 4 times of, if I integrate with respect to t here, so if I integrate with respect to t, this will be e power minus t between the limits 0 to infinity. So, here t limits are also from t limits. So, these are the t limits. So, this will be pi by 4 minus e power minus infinity and for lower limit minus of minus plus this is 0. And we know that e power minus infinity value is 0 and e power 0 value is 1. If I substitute the same thing here, this will be pi by 4 minus 1 minus 0 plus 1. So, which is equal to pi by 4. Therefore, our value that is integral 0 to infinity this is integral 0 to pi by 4 e power minus r square that is r dr d theta value is nothing but pi by 4 this is how we have to solve first of all i have to split the integrals so this is very easy to solve so first i have integrated with respect to theta so integral d theta is nothing but theta and i have substituted the value this is pi by 2 i have sent this pi by 2 outside and now i have to integrate with respect to r for that i use this substitution in place of r square take t and this 2r dr will be dt if i substitute and transformed into t and uh, su substituted all the limits, I got the value as pi by 4. And this is how we have to solve. And there is another important problem waiting for you. And this is evaluate integral 0 to pi by 4, that is integral 0 to a sin theta, r dr d theta by root over this one, by root over a square minus r square. And here is the solution. So, first of all, I'll make, uh, I'll split the integrals. Theta is equal to 0 to, this is pi by 4. And this is r is equal to 0 to, this is a sin theta. And this is r dr d theta by root over a square minus r square. First, first of all, r is equal to 0 to, this is a sin theta. This is r dr by root over a square minus r square and here theta varies from 0 to this is pi by 4 and this is integral d theta. So, this will be integral d theta if you observe this one. So, the value here is pi by 4 and so first of all I will make an arrangement here. So, for this the derivative for a square this is 0 and for r square this will be minus 2. So, I will uh, multiply with minus 2 and I will divide with minus 2. Then see what will happen minus half r is equal to 0 to a sin theta. This is minus 2r dr by root over a square minus r square. Here the derivative of this one is here. So, 1 by root x. So, this is integral 1 by root x dx value will be 2 root x. So, this is 2 root x. So, if I apply this one here, this will be minus half and this is, this will be 2 root that is a square minus r square between the limits r is equal to 0 to this is a sin theta and here this will be so integral d theta so integral d theta so you leave it like this that is theta is equal to 0 to pi by 4 into d theta so if i if i leave like this then this will be integral 0 to pi by 4 into d theta you leave it like this and if i cancel this this two and if I apply the limits, this will be minus. If I apply the limits, this will be root over a square minus a square sin square theta and minus of minus, this will be plus. For lower limit, minus of minus plus, this will be root over r square minus 0. r square minus 0, integral 0 to pi by 4 into d theta. 
so this one minus if I take a square common this will be 1 minus the sine square theta and this is a this is integral 0 to pi by 4 and this will be d theta so this is 0 to pi by 4 if I take a square common so this will be minus a cos theta plus a into d theta into d theta so now integral 0 to pi by 4 and if I take a common so, if I take a common here, then this will be 1 minus cos theta into d theta. So, now I have to integrate that is a integral 0 to pi by 4. This is 1 minus cos theta into d theta. So, if you see, if you observe this one. So, if I make an integration for 1 d theta, it is nothing but theta and for cos theta, it is nothing but sin theta between the limits theta is equal to theta is equal to 0 and here theta is equal to pi by 4. If I substitute the same thing here, that is a into this is pi by 4 minus sin pi by 4 and theta value it is 0 everywhere and we know that sin 45 degrees that is the sin pi by 4 value is nothing but 1 by root 2 so a is equal to this is pi by 4 minus 1 by root 2 and this is the value for this integral for the double integral so what is the double integral here that is uh, 0 to pi by 4 integral 0 to pi by 4 this is 0 to a sin theta this is r dr d theta by root over a square minus r square value is nothing but a times of this is uh, pi by 4 minus 1 by root 2 and this is how we have to solve this is the final value so first of all we have to integrate with respect to r and later with respect to theta in some cases we can integrate with respect to theta and then with respect to r so that we'll get the solution so these are all very important and keep practicing daily and keep informing through your comments and uh, you are invited to subscribe to this channel and please follow this channel so i'll be uploading many more uh, many more videos and uh, Please practice. Thank you so much.